Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips in episode number eight in our 25 lesson series, Survival Quick Tips. I'm David. Today we're gonna discuss first aid and dig into nine ways to prevent injury and a medical emergency in the field. But before we get into this vital topic, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and click the bell icon so you get notified when we post every video in this important series. And to see all the new knives and everyday carry gear that I've designed, go visit ultimatesurvivaltips.com. Okay, let's jump into episode eight of Survival Quick Tips. Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of Survival Quick Tips, which is part of the Tiny Survival Guide learning system and our full Tiny Survival Masterclass online training. In this segment, David and I will take a few minutes to break down a vital emergency preparedness or survival topic that's found in our Tiny Survival Guide, which is now Amazon's number one pick for EDC survival guides. And along the way, what we'll be doing is sharing a few action steps that you can put into practice today. Okay, everybody, today we're gonna to be referencing section G in the Tiny Survival Guide, which is first aid. And we're gonna take you through nine life-saving tips to prevent injury and a medical emergency before it happens. Let's get started. All right, Craig, so Benjamin Franklin, I believe, said an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And I can't think of any better situation really where we can apply this than first aid and taking some simple steps to prevent injuries before they happen. Yeah, I'm, I would agree 100% with that. And I'm always about prevention methods before. Uh, when you're preventing something or practicing beforehand, then you are active. And when you have to deal with something in the middle of stress, then you're reacting. And when you have to react to a situation, your decision-making is poor. The time is poor. Everything's poor. So let's do everything we can beforehand. Okay. Let's dive into preventing a medical emergency before it happens. So our first item is carry a first aid kit and a phone. I think a first aid kit should be something that has the boo-boo items in it as well as some more extensive trauma medicine as well. And I think that's vital that we carry that with us every day. It doesn't mean that we have to have a first aid kit on our belt that we're carrying with us into work or wherever it might be, but at least be able to take care of some of the small cuts and maybe even some of the bigger problems, uh, have something that's really close to you so that you can get quick access to it. All right, now here's a freebie for everybody. Download the first aid app, plus get trained. So we've got this first aid app from the American Red Cross. Yeah, American Red Cross, American Heart Association, there's two or three more that are not as prominent as those two, but at least one of those two, everyone, everyone should have that training. I think it should be mandatory training in school, quite frankly, but if you don't have access to that training, then you can do a quick internet search and find where you can find access, maybe a town over, but get some fundamental first aid training, American Red Cross, American Heart Association. And I would also, also I'd always take this opportunity to encourage people to get into the stop the bleed training, mm -hmm. either do stop the bleed, which is a, a real prominent training that's going on all over the country or find a school like nature reliance school. We do some of this training on our own where somebody will teach you some trauma medicine as well. Okay. Next be safe. Always. Yeah. It's not, you know, it's so cliche, but safety doesn't happen by accident, but it's so true, whether it's cliche or not, take the steps necessary to utilize your tools uh, because we talk about wilderness training so much, you know, knives and axes and the stuff that goes along with it. And I mean, even setting up a tent, setting up a tent pole so you don't stick yourself in the eye as you're setting it up. Something as simple. Take the time. Don't try to force anything. And that way you're better prepared to utilize your tools effectively so they don't bring harm to you. Okay. Pay attention 
to what you are doing. And that goes right along with handling tools. Yeah, that as well as just good situational awareness. Uh, pay attention to what you're doing uh, when you're setting up a shelter, for example. Uh, look up, look down, look left, and look right. Pay attention to your surroundings so that you don't get hit in the head by a tree that's falling. You don't lay down in poison ivy and go to sleep, and you're just paying attention to your surroundings. And that way, uh, you know if somebody else is using an axe and you don't walk into them while they're using an axe, something of that nature. Take breaks often. Yeah, I mean, most people that go to particularly a wilderness situation, but also for those of us that are preparing for natural or man-made disaster where we shelter in place, we've got to take breaks often. There's a lot of folks out there that want to get into something and just, let's get it done, let's get it done. In survival, that leads to too many calories being burned, too much water being burned, poor decision-making. So to combat all those, let's take some breaks, take our time, work like a turtle, not like a rabbit. Keep your core temperature just right. Yeah, every time you start increasing your body temp, then it causes problems. Either you're losing a lot more hydration or the sweat that's coming off is going to help bring your body temperature down. And you don't want your body temperature to go down if you're in a cold situation, for example. And so keeping your temperature just right could also include make sure you get in a shaded area if it's too hot so you don't uh, get heat exposure too much. And that way you can take care of your temperature and, and do it right and get it right where it needs to be. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated means that as soon as you get up out of the bed in the morning, you should be drinking some water. I mean, immediately you should start getting hydrated because you're going to use a lot of water during the night just by breathing as well as just your bodily functions are going to do what they can to start digesting a lot of food while you're asleep. And so in that manner, you're going to be dehydrated for the most part after being asleep for eight hours and not if that's what, how much hours of sleep you get, but for several hours of sleep, you're going to be dehydrated when you get up. So go to bed hydrated, you know, for those of us that have to get up and use the bathroom, maybe multiple times a night, maybe figure out where that sweet spot is so that you don't have to get up several, several times through the night, but at the same time, stay hydrated, but figure out what that sweet spot is. Clothing is your first layer of protection. Wind and water, the two W's. So your clothing choices are what's going to help keep you from getting a lot of wind that removes heat from your body or a lot of water that's on you. And just the opposite is true in hot weather. If you are hot, then being in the wind is going to be helpful. So if you have something that's blocking the wind, you might want to take it off in hot weather, for example. But just know that your clothing is your first shelter. And I just want to emphasize two things with clothing. One, footwear. You need to have the appropriate footwear and uh, something like gloves. Those are protective pieces of clothing that can keep you from being injured. Yeah, I think it's key. I did a video years ago on proper footwear and how to choose footwear. Uh, that was a long time ago. I was just never thinking about it. But man, oh man, I am a big fan of proper footwear for, for the situation. So... Uh, we had a class a couple of weeks ago where it rained the whole time we were out. And so there were a lot of people that were soaking wet, didn't have right socks on, their feet were getting blisters on them and all the things that go along. It was a land navigation class. So choosing your footwear, including your socks, is vital. Okay, everyone, we are now again out of time for this survival quick tip segment. But in a moment, Craig and I are going to continue our conversation with some exclusive content for our tiny survival masterclass students, where I will be putting Craig in the hot seat and asking him a series of strange and wonderful lightning round questions around the topic of first aid. So you know good and well, everybody, you're gonna to wanna to see if David can stump me. First aid? he'll probably get as close as he can on any other subject being able to stump me. So come back, check that out. And we appreciate it. Here's the thing. You want to take your survival, safety, security, and overall emergency preparedness to the next level. I know that, or you wouldn't be here. This is why you are here. So use the link below to go over to the tiny survival masterclass.com. That's where we go into a tremendous amount of detail on these subjects that we're giving you in these quick tips that's very important. So go check it out. 
And then don't forget to subscribe wherever you're watching or listening to these survival quick tips. That helps us continue to be able to help you. So remember that. Subscribe wherever you're hearing or seeing us. And then give us a big HBO, everybody. Help a brother out. Please share this content. We love helping people. And when you share it, that means you're helping people, which means we're helping more people. So it's fantastic. It's free to do so. Come on. There's no reason for you not to. We love it by being able to help other people in that manner. Keep it simple, be positive, and stay sharp. For your convenience, I've placed links to everything mentioned in the video description. Make sure you smash that like button and click the bell icon to get notified when we post new survival and preparedness content. To support this channel and encourage us to continue to create new videos and sweet, innovative new gear, go check out our new line of MSK1 knives and EDC gear over at ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And last but not least, don't forget to go check out our five-star rated podcast, The Survival Show, on all major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know. Survival.